My head feels like it's been shot off. Me ma's called me, so I bomb on downstairs. Where were you last night? Out. Hen pecked out the door up the village to church, which is kind of appropriate because the head's hanging off me like Oliver Plunkett. Didn't hear you come in last night. Didn't want to wake you. I can't take her. So I ball on to the other side of the church. All the lads are kneeling down, cradling their heads. They're praying for the cure. Kneeling down. I feel this heat born in the back of my head. Carl Kelly's gawking at me. Jesus. Hulking around with his great Republican head and him. Wouldn't touch a drop of drink in case he gets the call. <laughs> Fuck him. Off the pews, out the side door. Air. Better. Hop over the graveyard wall. Lying down, thinking about Mary Rose. Some girl for one girl. I like her, but I think of something Paul said to me last night. Treat them mean, keep them keen. Isn't that what the fella says? Aye, Mary Rose. Ignatius and Mary Rose. Here, there goes Iggy and Mary Rose. Ah, oh, man, <laughs> you'll turn yourself to shite thinking that way. Start getting ready for the dance in the brewery hall. I does press the jeans. She's a good one. Meet the lads outside the shop. I bomb in to get a pack of cigs. Grocer doesn't look up. Eh, uh, Tony Benson. He closes in public. I'm not serving you tonight, Ignatius. <laughs> Ignatius? Only me ma and the priest call me that. But I know when I'm being. Hall's packed. Spot Mary Rose. All right, kid. Listen, uh, I have to get a drink, but I'll, I'll talk to her. All right? Her face drops. Stand in line to get a drink and I hear a couple of Lock Reed girls talking about me, saying I'm this and that. They got the wrong end of the stick, but sure. I turn around to talk to them. Clock Mary Rose trying not to look over. Ah, girls, I couldn't even tell you as if I wanted to. Doors fly open. Cal Kelly and his lackeys walk in. Jesus, did these boys ever smile. Don't know why, but I just feel it's better to avoid them. Then I'd sneer over and she still hasn't come up to me. So I grab her outside. She tells me to fuck off. Who do I think I am? What do I take you for? I love you. I said it and I meant it. Drunk talk. Then she looks me with those eyes. They never looked so icy before. But she doesn't even know me. I try to grab her hand, but she snaps it away. Did I just fuck this up? Then she turns, walks away. Fuck this! Feeling slightly better as I'm walking home. I can make it up to her. I can't see two feet in front of me. A grand gesture. Someone to make her laugh. Aye. All's not lost yet. I think of what she said to me tonight. I hear the tone of her voice and stop, shiver. Then car speeds over the hill. <clears throat> car screeches to a halt. Doors opening, engine setting, like heavy breathing, heaving, clacking of heels and tarmac. Clacking becomes louder, slower, nearer. Kelly, get in the car. He throws me in the back seat. Here, lads, if you're thinking of opening a taxi business, you're going the wrong way about it. Smash! <laughs> Blood seeps from my mouth. Pain spread across my face, panic as I realize a fucking gun. The car speeds along, screams the engine. I fall in out of consciousness, flash of fields and bushes, throbs of pain. I think of me ma and what she's going to say, and then it hits me. Shit. Why have you stopped? Kelly opens my side door. I take a deep gulp of air. <sighs> Better. Legs are shaking. Wind whistling. They push me forward to lead the march, and I'm plodding through thickets of branches and dead leaves, my head hanging low, sobbing. Here, says Kelly. I close my eyes to escape them, but all I can see is the grocer, back in his shop. His silences. His sniffs, his decision, this was his decision. I fall to my knees, open my eyes, I say, oh lads, come on. Kelly speaks, words, informer, informer, informer. Think of a fucking prayer. The mind's racing. All of them rhymed off for so many years and now. I try my hardest to focus on the prayer of St. Jude, but the verse falls from my mouth. Leave me in this wood, with these men, alone. Now, says Kelly. Now! Dark wood is illuminated. Can't feel my legs. Not breathing. There's a gap. Hear my ma's voice. See the church. Graveyards, lack of gravestones, memorials, feel nothing. See streets tear apart and hell and soak up the road. Blood and silence, stone pulpits crumble, 
images dissolving. Okay. Words disappearing. Going. Leaving. 